Hey, good morning, everybody. This is Don from Don and John's RV Life. John is down inside. We are uh, installing a micro air, uh, easy start for air conditioner. So I'm gonna give you kind of a rundown what I did. I didn't videotape all of it, but I'll show you what I did and try to explain to it. Explain to you, it's super easy to do. So just a sec here, I'll turn the camera around and give you a brief uh, description of what we did. So this is the micro air 364. And uh, it's pretty simple to install. Like, I pretty much think almost anybody can do it. If you don't feel comfortable, obviously hire someone. But, uh, so this is the Penguin 2. It's the low profile uh, Dometic air conditioner. I just got the cover off there. And uh, anyhow, the micro air we just installed right here on this wall. Uh, it is double stick taped, two screws here. This thing's pretty easy. There's a big gray wire that runs to it. And you just run it through the little side wall right here. Comes out on this side. I ran it down under the, the motor. Just goes over here and it goes inside this box here. All right, so excuse the shadow, but there's a couple screws here. I took these out already. Um, and this foam is stuck here, so we just lifted this up. I did watch another video on this, but uh, it's pretty simple to do. Um, let's see how good I can show you guys this. So the original pieces I left down here in case we ever want to get rid of it, but there was this little thing here. I don't know what it's called, but and then this is the capacitor here. And there was one wire on there, and the other one from here went up by the red wire, by that red wire right in there. So pretty much you just unhook these two wires. You just get rid of it. It's not used. I only left it there just in case I ever take it out or whatever. Um, anyhow, it's pretty simple. What they do is they, this already has a connector on it. You take that one red wire off and you install this orange wire right there. And then you take the brown wire and you connect it to the white wire on the easy start. Um, the brown wire did have a connector on it. You just cut it off and you wire it together. I use these uh, Wagyu connectors. These things are pretty cool. I've actually never used them, but they work really well. Um, so the next step, let's see, was to find the white wire that runs to the compressor. And actually that was that, sorry. We had to trace this back down, this wire here and then that's where you hook to the brown wire. So we traced it out and you just follow it back here, here, and that's the one that goes over to the compressor. So you gotta make sure which white wire it is, but, cause there's, there's two that come through here, through from the other side, not a big deal. It's easy to trace it out, just kind of wiggle it and you'll find it. Um, and then once that's done, there was a jumper on there. You just pop that jumper off and you just, plug this white wire from this is all the easy start wiring in this this gray harness um so you just plug it into here and then there was a the black wire that came out of this harness you run it you run a separate wire so there's two wires here so this piece of wire here runs up here and it goes over to this side which is right here and he ended up cutting, this blue wire was connected. It was just one wire. So I cut the wire in half and spliced it in. So you have the, the blue wire still as, as a, a, you know, a single piece per se. And then this black wire I added. So these are all three connected basically. You could do it many of ways. You could solder it, heat shrink it, you could, I'm not really big on those twist ties, but these are these are good, solid uh, connectors. They seem to work really well. 
So once you run this, just just a piece of wire I got out of the shop. So once you get it back over to this side, you just hook that black wire, this one here that connects to that blue one, to the black one that's off the Easy Start. Same thing, you just connect it right with that. So these are just here. And uh, the capacitor, which is that piece right there, you're not using anymore. But in my opinion, and you're not using that. But there's no reason to remove it. It's there, it's fine. Uh, it's not gonna be in the way. And uh, anyway, yeah. And then you have to go through a learning process. It'll explain that into your book. To do the learning process, basically you go down and turn the air conditioning on. Uh, you wait till the compressor kicks on. You run it about 30 seconds or so. Um, turn it back off with the thermostat. Turn it back on. The easy start makes it wait three minutes and then it will kick back on by itself. Um, and then once that happens, you let it get cool for 30 more seconds, turn it back off again, and do that four more times. So a total of five times. And, uh, and then we test it with the generator. Works great, we'll show you that. So our generator is on eco mode right now. Air conditioner's on. We're waiting for the compressor to kick on. It says it takes about three minutes. the easy start to... Energize it. Should kick on any moment here. There it goes. It's running the air conditioner. I believe if we turn the eco off, it'll probably rev higher. So it's not even using full power. We'll go inside and... Yeah, so on eco mode, it's not even using the full power of the... Uh... Yep, nice and cold. Sweet. Okay, so we are gonna try this whole thing over again. We had two generators. One was the Honda 2200, and this was the older one, it's a 2000. So basically, we're gonna plug it in and see if the air conditioner will run um, the air conditioning, excuse me, if the generator will run the air conditioning on the little 2000. Okay, we're back inside. We're gonna turn the air conditioning back on. I just have it at 55. It's cold here, we're up in Washington. and So we're gonna see if this thing, the fan just kicked on. We'll see if this'll, if it'll kill it when it tries to turn the AC on or not. We're gonna sell this other generator and uh, my son actually wants to buy it. We don't see a reason to carry two of them. The main reason we even had them, there it goes, was to run the air conditioner and uh, we had the parallel kit. We'll go inside. And make sure she's blown cold. Ice cold. Oops. Oh yeah. Working like a charm. Awesome. So if you guys have a Honda 2000 or a 2200, it will run the air conditioner. This is a ours. It's on the Nobo. It's a Dometic Penguin 2.